The K computer is one of the world's most powerful supercomputers. It is helping us to better understand the structure of the universe and the motions of the oceans and atmosphere. It is also contributing to improving manufacturing technology. Take, for example, this rechargeable battery. Though small, it contains a whole universe inside it. From a universe of molecules to batteries of the future. Batteries have become a necessity of contemporary life. They allow us to use a variety of mobile electronic devices. The most popular is the lithium-ion battery. A lithium-ion battery is composed of positive and negative electrodes immersed in an electrolyte. And here, let's take a look at the key actor, the lithium atom. When the battery is switched on, each lithium atom loses an electron and becomes an ion. The electrons flow from the negative to the positive electrode, generating electricity. The lithium ions follow the electrons, binding with the electrolyte molecules. The lithium ions then recapture the electrons at the positive electrode. When there are no more lithium atoms in the negative electrode, the battery stops discharging. Now, let's recharge it. Following the electrons, the lithium ions migrate back to the negative electrode. When all of the ions have returned, the battery is fully charged. The lithium ion battery can be recharged and used again. From mobile phones to the storage of renewable energy, lithium ion batteries are used in a whole spectrum of devices. One of the areas with the highest expectations for the use of lithium ion batteries is electric vehicles. However, most commercial electric vehicles today have a much shorter range than gasoline-powered vehicles. Lithium-ion batteries still have room for improvement. The key to developing better batteries is the development and combination of materials. The electrode, the electrolyte, additives to increase the performance of the battery, and also the film that forms when the battery is recharged for the first time. It is called the SEI film. Even tiny differences in the materials can lead to enormous changes in battery performance. Which materials and in what amount should be used for making a better battery? The electrode, the electrolyte, the additives? There are tens of thousands of possible combinations and reactions of the materials. Scientists are searching for the best combinations. And now, a new approach is emerging for developing the ultimate battery. This new approach is the computer-aided search for materials using the K computer. Simulating the motions of individual molecules will help us better understand the mechanism of batteries. Let's take a look at the molecular structure inside a battery computed on the K computer. These are the molecules of the electrolyte. They are transporting the lithium ions. These are the molecules of the additives. They bind the electrolyte. Carbon dioxide is formed. This has been observed in experiments and is believed to affect the safety of the battery. 
The mechanism behind its generation has now been revealed for the first time through simulations using the K-computer. The probable molecular structure of the SEI film was also revealed. Let's take a closer look at the SEI. The SEI film is believed to influence the charging time and safety. Computation has at last shed light on how this works. The K computer has also enabled researchers to understand the mechanism that leads to increased lithium conductivity. This could cut the charging time to just one-third of the time required today. Today's supercomputer is indispensable facilities for physicists, chemists, and material scientists. On previous generations of supercomputers, what we could do with simulations is such a small system only. However, appearance of cave computers allow us to do a lot of large-scale, long-time simulations pretty easily. Then, understanding molecular behaviors inside bodies was drastically improved. When the next generation exascale supercomputer, 100 times as fast as K computer is realized, more realistic and accurate simulations will be possible. And someday, we'll be able to design new batteries on supercomputer. Better understanding the mechanism of batteries could bring new convenience to our future lives. Supercomputer-based computational science, coupled with experimental research, will soon bring us the battery of the future.